What's up guys, it's your boy Schmidt with a brand new episode. In today's video, we're going to be showing my first ever Season 7 win. In today's video though, we're going to be doing like a little tips and tricks, trying to, you know, show you what I think while in game, because we can't use the audio. So, my first place I drop is Orbital Cannon. I like going Orbital Cannon, it's quite a low-key spot, I find like you get quite a lot of loot there, and it's very, uh, very low-key as well, you know, I find it's a good place to defend as well. So if someone does go there, it's easily defendable. But uh, attacking there quite be a little bit tough though, because you can camp in a lot of rooms. There's a lot of rooms there. But I quite like going there. You know, no one really drops there in general. Uh, I think that I should have done then. I should have checked around, started pivoting around, checking if anyone's dropping with me. But I never, luckily, no one ever did drop. But you know, that's uh, another tip that I should be doing. Uh, so now we're just getting loot. I'm already trying to figure out what kind of uh, class loadout I kind of want, you know, I'll pick up the G7 Scout, that's like a mid-range to long-range gun, so that's good. But then I'll also pick up the P20, so now I'm already thinking that I want them ha hammer, point, hammer point rounds, you know, I'm thinking, mm, I want to find them, if I do, you know, I'm going to be taking them. So again, casually looting, I see the Vault, the Vault's one of the best guns in the game right now, so I'll swap the Vault for the P20. The only reason I've done that for the P20 is because overall, a normal P20 is worse than a G7 Scout. You know, weirdly, I pinged that uh, blue shield for Luke, who I'm playing with. Uh, not the smartest idea from me. Uh, there we go. Hammer point rounds. So now I'm thinking in my head, oh, I dropped the P20 back there. So now I'm going to be circling back around just to pick up that P20. And now, there we go. I finally pick up the armor. So now I'm running back over to the P20. Uh, swap out the G7 Scout for it. Uh, I remember it's here. I clocked. Find it. There we go. Hammer point rounds. So then we just finished up looting. So after normally what I do after I finish looting a uh, orbital cannon, I normally get this car, drive to the storm, well drive to the circle, or go to loot more stuff. But the circle was quite far, so I was just telling my teammate Luke just to get the fuck up, and so we can eventually go away from the circle. So when he gets in, I spot something purple over there, so I wanted to go look. Nothing, nothing important. I don't have anything beneficial to me there some uh, grenades the reason i wanted to swap out the thermite which i failed in nice one jay the reason i wanted to pick up them thermites is because overall in my opinion i prefer thermites over like frag grenades and i prefer them because with a frag grenade you can only do kind of two well one thing with them you just flush out an enemy you throw the grenade they flush them out an enemy do damage whereas i feel like you can do that with a thermite grenade but a thermite gr grenade can actually also lock someone in so after after I looted this whole place, me and Luke got onto the trident and I signalled him just to take this little route just so we staying on the edge of circle, don't really have to push anyone, we're staying kind of low key. And again, saw some crates so I just wanted to loot this so I started looting, checking if there's any supplies that we need. Nothing really beneficial but I noted that there was the extended free light mag there. The reason I'm doing that is just in case I find a sniper, a triple take, I may want to swap that out for the P20 just so I have the range because you know the new map is quite a big map to be fair. I'm pretty sure it's the biggest in the, well, the history of uh, Apex Legends. So what we're doing now, I'm just circling around this free open space just to get into a good little position from Storm and you know position myself for circle. I see that there's a like, little bit of high ground there, so I signal Luke by pinging just to get on top of there. I'm looking around as well, trying to spot anybody, don't see anyone. It looks kind of deserted, the crate's not been opened, so I just advantage, you know, I'll get the high ground. The reason I get the high ground, just in case there is someone there, I could beam him just by getting the high ground. So I'm pretty sure I open these crates, we loot around, just chill here for a bit, don't really start pushing anybody. Um, so yeah, we looted there for a bit. Circles coming in in uh, two minutes, so I wanted to wrap around just to get a nice little angle and a little flank on the circle if anyone was here. But the reason I start going up this way is because I see the supply. What's it called? Supply beacon? Survey beacon. There we go. But what I should have done here is drop my zip line already because if you didn't know, the supply beacon actually regens your ultimate ability. You know, Pathfinder, Bloodhound can use it. Um, but what I should have done was use a zipline just to give myself a little escape route, not being able to, you know, waste time 
and run to a balloon. But it's quite good that we got this balloon. As I'm going up, I'm telling my teammate where I want to go before I jumped off, just so I know where to go. I know what I want to do, which is a good thing. It's a good habit to have. So now we're just flying over here. What I'm doing now is checking to see anybody. I'm not seeing any movement at all. I'm checking the left. I should be checking my right as well, but I only checked my left. Not No one really here. Failed grapple, but you know, what can we do here? At this point, I'm pretty sure I'll start hearing footsteps. You can see me playing a little bit hesitant now. Hear some footsteps, checking around me, and I go to the, like the ne nearest building and I spot the person. I tell Luke to come to me to get behind the cover just so we're in a good position to fight. Uh, and I see the guy, I just start shooting at him. Uh, I missed quite a lot of shots, hit him once, but I know I have frag grenades. That's why you carry them. Throw it in there, and I'm pretty sure I do get a nice little 53 hit. So now I'm, I want him to press here, we've done quite a lot of damage to him, we, we only saw one person but Luke was quite hesitant because uh, he's a pussy I guess but I noticed that he's still weak so I'm just throwing, throwing my uh, you know, grenades and that just to keep up the pressure. I tried to zip line up there to give Luke the high ground with me because I'm pathfinder I can easily get to the roof and the reason I do get to the roof here is just so I have the higher ground if he pops out and Luke pushes quick which draws out he's a teammate I did kind of use Luke as bait here but you know that's what you're gonna do sometimes Luke starts doing the finisher when we haven't found the other teammate so it's quite stupid Luke's get first but I get the high ground dropping the guy doesn't know where I am easy kill from me so all I'm thinking about now is I need to swap my armor just in case another team comes so I need to have full armor just be able to fight again but I pick up Luke's respawn beacon and luckily the respawn uh, place was right next to us so we got lucky there and again I want to do this uh, survey beacon so what I do this time is place my ability just to get an escape route I ping it for Luke as well just so he knows where to go uh, I use the survey beacon just to get location on where the new circle is uh, timing was a little bit off because I'm getting damaged but it's not that much damage I can easily get out I already check if I have a, a med kit checking my left and right here just to notice I'm uh, uh, safe I jumped off early off that zip line just to get a little bit of cover here because that was quite in the open smart thinking um, it would have been better if I had some uh, syringes because using a med kit on that much health is not really that good so all, all we're doing now is moving up I think I started to hear some movement on the other side of this uh, pillar bit so me and Lucas again playing quite hesitant, not really pushing a lot of people, just kind of playing low key. Uh, I start looking and as we saw, we saw a person. So I'm just kind of scouting it out, looking for the exits where he was. Um, I'm just checking around me. I located that jump pad as well, signaled it to Luke and I start pushing up a little bit. Because I only saw one person, only heard one person. So it will be a battle that's kind of smart for us to take, but it just looks like he's ran away. So we started to chill, looted a little bit, but now we're starting to move with the storm just to get in a better position. So I'm getting a high ground, I'm just jumping up and down to throw off anyone's aim on me. I jump off early just so I'm not really out in the open up there. So we're just kind of chilling up here. I'm checking if anyone's on there in front of us. But right now, Luke gets sniped, so I know there's a sniper. I check where he is, ping him just so we know. Uh, it looks like we're safe, but we never know. We could get third team. So I told Luke to pop his uh, shield, Jimmy's shield down. I placed my zip line just to give us a means of escape. I do get quite beamed here, so I jump off early just to give myself time to shield up. Um, what, what I could have done was pop shield cells, not wasting a battery, but you never know. A team could be right above me dropping down. That's why I eventually used this jump pad to get up here. But now, I know someone's been this way because we've been locating some jump pads around. So I know someone has been there. So I'm playing quite hesitant. Didn't really want to push any building or anything like that. So then we just get in the comfortable position to start camping down. And now I spot a team in the building. So I signal it to Luke. Luke thinks he's brave, so he starts trying to aim. I'm playing more passive. There's two teams left. I don't really need to be fighting another team at this point. You know what? I know where the two teams are and I know I can get sandwiched easily so I don't want to be fighting the two teams I will preferably want them to start fighting but the new circle comes in I see a position that we can take easy because I know both teams are going to have to come down towards circle so I position myself in a good position just so I'm ready so I'm checking out if that sniper team dropped down already so I'm just lurking looking about I'm checking where the team from the building has came down I'm pinging it to Luke just to make him aware of it I'm being quite cautious 
and then bam spot the team that came down from the building tell luke they have the higher ground but they gotta come to us because of circle so we're in a great position we don't really need to be pushing them heavy you know showing ourselves i'm just trying to gain intel while luca shields up what i should have noticed that gb shield was going to run out so there's no real need for me to peek here see it, it gets me hit a bit me i should have popped a shield side as well no need to waste the battery but just in case we get swiped from another team but as there i should have realized how long gb shield was up Gibraltar shield was up so i didn't really need to press that i'm very hesitant of that sniper team earlier i know they're around there so i'm a little i'm scared yeah so we're getting attacked from the team in front of us uh i realized that luke's not popping his shields so he must not have shields i'm assuming and then there we go we locate both the teams we know the sniping teams are still up there we're both getting pinged and we know there's a team right in front of us so now i'm just popping my shield getting ready this is where i start giving luke some shield styles because i asked him does he have any shield styles he says no so i dropped some for him and i'm just trying to again gain intel and locate where the teams are just so i can get some little bit beams so i know where the one team is again sniper team still up there but then i hear this team in front of us start moving so there me am hit the guy for 74 that's good damage but then i see his mate stationary so i switch targets mate, mate stationary i switch the p20 that's what the hammer points will do if i knock your shield you're getting wiped my shield is quite low but i keep on the offense offensive just because i know that i have the beat on them in this uh, scenario because they're trying to beat circle as well so i'm just camping it down doing damage trying to finish people off and bam the other team starting to fight that's the greatest thing that could have happened so now me and luke can wrap around just to clean up i locate the other, the other team just ping him once hitting a few times uh luke's i'm pretty sure luke's controller disconnected so it's just me playing right now um again i'm just pinging them i look i see that one of them's down in the top right earlier so i start pressing i jump up see the revenant trying to revive his boy finish him easy and then bam wraith's here ping the wraith for 66 it's big damage wraith is probably scared now hit that octane for a good 66 as well i'm pretty sure luke eventually does steal the kill on me but he baits out where the wraith is I have all the high ground. I'm winning these any day of the week. Hammer rounds come out. Easy win. See, that's what you got to do in Season 7. Play it passive. You eventually get the win. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Come back to the next video. I'll be posting more daily. Anyway, see ya. Have a great day.